Hi, welcome back to Two Men and Their Meat, the YouTube channel for backyard cooks and pitmasters. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Fireboard 2 Drive with the drive fan. All right, so here we have the Fireboard 2 drive with the drive blower. Let's go ahead and get the blower out of the way for now. That's what everybody wants to see here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Got our user manual. Slides out, looks like first you got the actual Fireboard unit here. The six probes and the USB C. And more literature. And looks like here we've got our probes, our two meat probes and the one ambient probe more literature and our charging cables and charging brake so that's everything in the fireboard box now let's get to the fan and right up you got the fan right there on top and all of the looks like a couple different adapter plates for various grills looks like two a large and a small here so, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get this put on to our Kamado Joe Big Joe, and we'll be right back. Alright, so, what I've done here is I've got the large bracket onto these little legs here. You get this little post, just kind of unscrew. There's one on each side, and you use that to loosen up these little attachments here. You can see those? So what we're going to do, we're just going to slide this bracket into the grooves there. And then we'll push that back up and then we're going to tighten these little nuts down. Make sure you have those legs all the way back before you tighten them. All the way back. Now we go back and tighten. Then we just close the door like that. And now it's on. And now we've uh, just got to get our actual fireboard unit connected. All right. So I got the fireboard two hooked up to my Wi-Fi. Now just a little tip for you. Um, I had I had a few issues, but it was all user error. Um, a heads up. Make sure that when you are connecting to your Wi-Fi that. Uh, that you are on the 2.4 network if you do have 5G and 2.4 because the uh, the device can only hook up to 2.4 and you've got to be on the same um, connection there so just a little tip for you if you're having problems getting it connected uh, don't be a dummy like me and uh, just go ahead and make sure your phone's on the same network um, 2.4 network as the device so um, we're I've already got a uh, charcoal uh, load of charcoal going got a little tumbleweed in there I'm just going to get my torch lit here. A little windy out here, so bear with me. I don't have the um, actual fireboard running yet. You want to make sure you get a good fire going first. So that's what we're doing now. I'm going to get this fire started. Once it's good and set, we'll go ahead and put the uh, grates in. And, uh, and actually get the fan kicked on. But for now, we're just going to let this roll um, and get the fire going. 
All right, so I had a small issue using the app. Um, for some reason, it, it just doesn't want to pop up with the with the keyboard to be able to type in um, the temperature setting for the fan. Um, I had the same issue when I was typing in the um, password for my Wi-Fi and eventually got it to work after resetting the app a couple times, but I didn't have time to do that right now. So I just went ahead and set it on the device itself. Um, hopefully it's just a small bug that's going to get worked out here pretty soon. Um, like I said, I was kind of working on the fly here, so I went ahead and just went into the settings on the device itself. It's pretty easy. You just use the buttons on the side here, and it takes you right over to the drive mode. And I went ahead and set it for 350. Um, I am cooking a whole chicken today, so I like to do those a little bit higher temp. So I'm going to get this thing up to 350, and uh, we'll be back when we're getting the chicken on. All right, so I've been rolling here for an hour or so, kind of playing with the uh, fireboard and the app. I mentioned earlier having an issue with the app. It all seems to be working fine now. Changed the tent multiple times. I actually went ahead and bumped it up to 400. Uh, and I've got this chicken out here ready. Uh, I didn't show the seasoning yet just because it's gotten kind of windy out here, so I had to season it inside. I currently have the lighting bill to show that. But anyway, seasoned it with some salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika, and a little bit of uh, meat church's fajita seasoning. Uh, so that's what I've got on, the, on this chicken today. Uh, also, a little tip for you on these kamados. If you're cooking at a higher temp, hard to get a lot of, you know, you just eat through the smoke, the, the wood, so you don't get a whole lot of smoke off it. But a little tip, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there on top of the diffusers, below the grates, I've gone ahead and added a, uh, a couple chunks of uh, cherry and a uh, uh, hickory wood there. Um, and I'm able to get some smoke off of it that way. It's warm enough that it can still kind of, um, you know, produce some smoke off of there. So anyways, got that um, up and going. Oh, just dropped my mic there, so. Um, Anyways, got that going at uh, 400, so should be an hour or so. We're gonna go ahead and get this meat probe in, and uh, we'll get to cooking. All right, and we're back. It's been about an hour and a half. Our alarm just went off. That we are at 160 on this chicken, so let's check it out. The fireboard's been running smooth the entire time. Stayed within about five degrees, plus or minus, uh, just about the whole time. Gonna confirm our temp here. Yep, let's check the legs. Yep, this thing's done. So that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Um, not gonna slice show slice into this one again. This one was just kind of more demonstrating the uh, the first cook on the fireboard. So. Um, Give us, a, give us a thumbs up or write down in the comments what you thought of this video and uh, let us know what you want to see next. Uh, again, we're definitely looking for, for some, uh, some uh, recommendations on what you guys would like to see. Uh, but uh, we're going to be planning on doing more with this fireboard. We're going to do a long overnight cook here coming up, so be looking out for that. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below. Thanks.